Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a battle against Sarah. This is my girlfriend who's made numerous appearances on the channel in the ORAS battle series. However, this is our first match here on Sun and Moon, and it turned out to be a really good one, so we're gonna go ahead and get into that. So, looking at her team, I was uh, thinking she was probably going to want to lead with the Lycan Rock to go ahead and get the Stealth Rock set up early on me, which is why I decided to lead with my Ha Lucha, Rey Mysterio, and she actually does end up leading with the Lycan Rock Sun Form. So, she's going to go for the switch right away, it doesn't want to get taken out with a fighting move, so she's going to come in with the Vika Volt, predicting that, and I did go for the high jump kick. So that's only going to take her down by about a third, which was not too bad, I guess. And then she's going to regain some health with the leftovers. So uh, this turn, I actually am going to go for a Swords Dance to get a sharp attack increase. My logic here was um, hoping that she would go for an electric move, which is going to drop me down to my Sash. So she does go for the Thunderbolt, and that is going to take me to my Sash. So that is going to trip my Unburden ability as well to uh, increase my speed. So I have a nice little setup here uh, going with the Hall Lucha. So... Uh, this turn, I'm going to go for the Acrobatics. Uh, it is going to be enough to take her out because of the Swords Dance and the uh, fact that I don't have an item anymore. So that is going to bring her down to five Pokemon. So then she's going to come back in with the Lycan Rock. And uh, I have a feeling the Acela Rock is coming, but I don't really want to risk a switch. So I just stay in and she does go for that to finish me off and tie the battle up at five, five. So then I'm going to go ahead and come in with my Scissor. And she is actually going to switch out yet again, doesn't want to take any sort of attack from me. So she's going to come in with Beware, as I am going to go for the Mega Evolution first into Mega Scissor. And I did go for the Bullet Punch, so uh, really not going to do much of anything there. Uh, Beware is very physically defensive and also has the uh, fluffy ability to uh, further that. So uh, this turn, I'm just going to go for a Brick Break to see how much damage I can get on her. Still not even taking her down to half, unfortunately. And she's just going to hit me with a Hammer Arm, which is going to take me a little below half and drop her speed. And she's going to take some damage from the Life Orb as well. So this turn, I'm going to go for the Roost, predicting another Hammer Arm. So um, I want to try and get my health back. So that is going to put me back to almost full health. And she does go for the hammer arm again, uh, which is going to take me uh, right down to uh, a little below half again. She's going to get another speed drop and lose more HP from the life orb. So uh, at this point, she is going to go for a switch. She knows uh, if I keep going for the roost, uh, she's not going to outlast me. So she's going to come in with the Salazzle instead as I do go for another roost. And that is going to uh, put me back up to almost full health yet again. So this turn, I am going to go for a switch. Uh, I have no business staying in here. I don't want to lose my scissor to a fire attack. So I'm going to come in with my Gastrodon, predicting that as uh, she is going to go for a flamethrower. So that's only going to take me down by about a quarter, which is not much at all. And then I am going to regain some health with the leftovers. So this turn, she is going to go for a switch. There's really nothing she can do to me uh, with the Salazzle. So she's going to come in with the Primarina. And I actually predicted that switch. So I decided to go for the Sludge Wave, which is going to take her down by about a third, which is not too bad. And then I am going to regain more health with the leftovers. So... Uh, this turn, she actually is going to outspeed me, and she is going to go for the Energy Ball, which was uh, a bit of a surprise there. You usually don't see um, that move on Primarina, but nonetheless, uh, that is going to take me right out, unfortunately, and drop me down to four Pokemon, so she's going to take the lead there. So uh, then I'm going to come in with my Tapu Lele and get the Psychic Surge uh, to set up the Psychic Terrain, and I am choice scarf so i know i'm going to outspeed so i'm going to hit her with a psychic which is going to bring her down to about a quarter she does survive go for the moon blast and that is going to drop me down to about a third and she does get a special attack decrease too um but 
it's okay because this turn I'm just going to go for the Psychic one more time and that is going to be enough to finish the Primarina off and drop her down to four Pokemon. So then she's going to come back in with the Lycanroc and uh, I stayed in here because like I said I am Choice Scarfed so I was hoping to outspeed her but she actually outspeeds me which was quite a shock. Hits me with the Stone Edge and takes me down to three Pokemon so no doubt uh, she has to be Choice Scarfed as well. So I am gonna come back in with my scissor and uh, that is gonna force her to switch out. Can't do much of anything to me with the Lycan Rock. So she's gonna come back in with the Beware. And uh, I did predict that switch, so I went for the Brick Break um, to bring the Beware into the red. And then this turn, I'm gonna outspeed her, just go for it again. And that is gonna be enough to take care of the Beware and drop her down to three Pokemon. And that is gonna be it for the Psychic Terrain. So then she's gonna come in with Decidueye. And I'm gonna go for the switch here. I don't wanna catch an attack from this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and come in with my Incineroar Kane, uh, hoping to absorb whatever she throws at me. But she actually is gonna go for the Z move here, specifically the uh, special uh, Z move for Decidueye, the Sinister Arrow Raid. Very cool move, by the way. So um, she's going to hit me up with that. Fortunately, I do resist it. So I am gonna be able to survive that. Um, that is only gonna take me down by a little less than half. So uh, all things considered, pretty good for me. So this turn, she does outspeed me and she's gonna go for the Brave Bird, trying to finish me off, obviously. But luckily for me, I do survive that with 35 health. She's gonna take some recoil damage and then I'm gonna go for the Darkness Lariat. And that is going to be enough to take out the Decidueye and drop her down to two Pokemon. And I'm gonna take some damage from my Life Orb, leaving me with only 15 health. So then she's gonna come in with Salazzle once again. And uh, she is definitely gonna outspeed me here, go for the Dragon Pulse. And that is obviously gonna be more than enough to finish my Incineroar off and bring me down to two Pokemon. So then I'm gonna come in with my Gudra. And she is going to go for the Dragon Pulse yet again, uh, trying to wear me down. And that is gonna take me down by a little less than half. She actually got the crit on that too. Um, so I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor trying to take her out and I actually miss, which was extremely unfortunate. Uh, so that is going to let her go for another Dragon Pulse this turn, which is going to bring me down to about a quarter of my health. I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor again this turn. Luckily, I don't miss again. That would have been catastrophic. Uh, so I'm going to land that. But unfortunately, she actually has a Focus Sash on there, so she is going to survive because of it. And I'm going to get a harsh special attack decrease off that. So... This turn, she's gonna go for one more Dragon Pulse, hoping for it to be enough to take me out. But I actually survived that in the red with eight health, which was awesome, uh, which lets me go for the Thunderbolt, which is going to be more than enough to finish the Salazzle off and drop her down to just one Pokemon. So um, finally, she's gonna come back in with the Lycanroc and she is definitely gonna outspeed me, go for the Stone Edge and actually miss, which was very nice for me, which is gonna let me go for the Draco Meteor yet again. Um, but unfortunately, because of the uh, harsh special attack decrease, it is not gonna be enough to finish her off, only gonna take her down by about half, and I do get my special attack harshly decreased again. Uh, so this turn, she is gonna go for the Stone Edge again, not gonna miss this time and finish my Gudra off, dropping me down to just one Pokemon, but that's okay because my last is Scissor and uh, I can just go for the Bullet Punch. She is Choice Scarfed, I'm fairly certain, into um, the Stone Edge. So that Bullet Punch is gonna be more than enough to finish the Lycanroc off and that is game. So thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. Also, if you want to battle me, go ahead and leave a comment with your friend code, and we can battle. I'm always looking for new opponents and uh, new challenges. So um, that's it, and we'll see you next time.